So I spend hours every week sifting through AppSumo to find those rare hidden gems that not only work really well, but also are affordable. And today I found a perfect one for you. I'm about to show you my number one official AppSumo deal for getting more leads from the traffic you already have on your website. Now, if you're on the hunt for other quality tools that you could use to grow your business, I've been compiling this Notion spreadsheet of my must-have SaaS tools for digital entrepreneurs. Now, I've used all of these tools and can vouch for them. And you can grab this Notion spreadsheet for free by clicking the link down in the description below. So the tool is called Contact Button. And I personally think every website owner needs this. Uh, this lifetime deal starts at just $19. So this is essentially a widget that you place on your website that sits on the bottom corner. And when you click on it, people can contact you in uh, various ways. You can add links to your social media, messaging apps, your profiles. You can also um, share coupon codes, um, add a contact form, even calendars. So this is a great uh, widget you can apply to your website so you can turn the traffic that's on your website into actual leads to grow your business. So the $19 plan one gives you all of the features and you could use it for one website. But if you wanna use it for more websites, you can go for a higher plan. Now you can go up to five codes, which gives you unlimited domain licenses. So I think this is perfect for freelancers and agencies who manage other people's websites. And you could offer this as an add-on for your clients to offer more value. Um, you could also charge more every single month to have this uh, special widget on your clients' websites. And the five codes is under $100, so still pretty affordable. So the way this works is you have one button that you place on your website, and then you can add various apps to that button. And again, this tool is really for capturing uh, leads, right? Turning your traffic into leads. So whenever someone fills out a form, right? I have this 15% coupon code form. If they fill that out, it'll be um, listed out right here. All of your leads will be listed out in this table. Now, let me show you all of the apps that are available. So for my button, I have uh, four apps that, I, that are currently turned on. So I have kind of like this contact form where people can grab a 15% off coupon code. This other app uh, links to my Google Calendar so they can book time on my calendar. This is a list app which lists out various products. And I also included a link to my TikTok uh, profile. So if I click on create a new app, these are all of the apps that I can add to my button on my website. So these two here are forms. People can fill it out so they can be become leads, you can have reservations and bookings, create lists and menus, so perfect for restaurants. You can display images, display your business hours. If you are a local business, um, you can have a map link. You can list out all of your uh, social links. If you want to link to other websites or other pages, you can link to that. There is a click to call. You can also integrate your contact button with popular chat widget software. You can have your leads reach you via SMS or email. There's a Facebook Messenger connection, WhatsApp, and also an HTML embed, which basically means you can embed any other third-party software inside your button. Now, let me show you how easy it is to set up your app, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my apps view. And for my uh, form, my 15% coupon code, I can click on edit. And you could basically edit everything here, okay? So this is the name. This is the preview of how your form will look like. You can move the elements um, however you want to, organize them however you want to, change the text, change the success message title and text. So for the 15% off coupon, I can say, your coupon code is 15 off. You can also change the icon design and also other various display options. And then you could preview the app icon design on the right hand side. So as you could see some very powerful editing features that you can select, you can change to make it look exactly how you want to. Now this calendar app is pretty cool as well. So what you can do is add a link 
to your um, booking page. So I actually created a Google uh, booking page and then I pasted the URL right here. Um, so there's the Google Appointments plugins, but you can connect other apps as well like Calendly, OpenTable, Resi, and also TidyCal. Similar with the other app, you can change the icon design and colors and the display options as well. You can even display it at certain times. So maybe you don't want to show this maybe during the weekends or after hours, you can set that up right over here. Also, if you want to um, show the URL on specific pages only, you can set up URL rules. Now, after you've set up all of your apps, you can also change how your button looks like. So again, very powerful. You can change how the text on the button is. So I said, click me. So this is the preview, okay? You can change the design, the colors, so on and so forth. Now you see this, hello, welcome to my website. So that's actually a pop-up and you could edit that in your pop-ups uh, section. So it's just like a little call out that you can have appear to draw attention to your button. Now, aside from those standard apps and the buttons and pop-ups, they also have campaigns, which is actually a feature that's coming soon. So it says mail here. So I believe you will be able to send emails from the people that become leads after they fill out a contact form, it looks like. They also have agents that are coming soon as well. Now, one thing to note is that for the AppSumo deal, the founder says you'll need to bring your own provider via API keys, so you'll need to pay a third-party vendor for them to work. So it is still good news, right? We will be able to access this agent's feature as long as we bring our own API key. Now for lists, this is perfect for people who are in e-commerce or restaurants and maybe they want to display their items in a list format. So for me, I added a list of um, a handful of products so you can create categories and then list out items inside categories. And you can add multiple categories and also multiple items in each category. And pages, this feature is also uh, coming soon as well. And for plugins, you can connect uh, various third-party software like ActiveCampaign, Calendly, Google Appointments, which I did so on and so forth. Now, one thing I am not seeing is a Zapier. That's one thing I wish they included in here. And lastly, you can change your uh, settings. So again, this is how the button, my button looks like. You can change the uh, domain URL, the uh, location for time zone. You can also block IP addresses from viewing buttons. Um, there's also branding, so you can turn on or off the contact button branding on the widget. And this is where you add a new domain workspace. So if you are managing multiple websites, you will be able to add them right here. Now, if you do the full stack for unlimited uh, websites, you will be able to add unlimited, we unlimited websites for all of your clients and you can upsell them and have this contact button feature on their websites and you can make money through this tool as well. Now, let's uh, test the button so you know exactly how it looks like on my website. Okay, so on the bottom right hand side, this is the button. This is the pop up just to draw attention to it. This isn't required. So I'm going to exit that. Now, if I click on the button, these are the four apps. So for book some time, it actually opens up my Google calendar booking page. Okay, so they can go in here pick a day, and then pick whatever time they want to book a 30-minute appointment with me, all through the uh, single app inside my website. They could also um, view my TikTok, and if they want a 15% off coupon code, they could just fill out this form and click on Submit, and there we go. So it says your coupon code is 15 off. And then for the list of products, so again, if you are listing out products that you are selling or menus, if you are a restaurant, you can list out all of your products like this. So you can add an image, the name of the product, and a short description. You could also link these products as well. So they can link to a product page or another page where they can learn more. Okay, so I filled out that form for that 15% off coupon. So if I go to leads, you could see right here, a brand new lead coming from my website.
Now to keep with the theme of affordable lifetime deals, I want to show you some honorable mentions of other deals that I found that are $39 or less. New Old Stamp is a tool that allows you to uh, create and manage professional email signatures. Now one code is only $39 you can create up to five signatures. And honestly, if you are a solopreneur or even a small business, I don't even think you need the Google Workspace or Office 365 integration. You do get all of the other features of this deal. Now, if you do want those two integrations, you will need to stack uh, four codes or higher. So you can organize signatures by various departments. So my department one, this is my signature list. This is the master signature. And for department two, we can create a signature. So all you do is add your employees information on the left hand side. And then you can design the colors, the style of the font, the borders right over here. Now this is just one layout, but if you go to layouts, there are tons of other layouts uh, you can choose from that match this style. You can also add um, apps like custom text, HTML, even buttons, and also custom buttons as well. You can add banners, um, social media icons, and this is where you add your profile picture. And I think what makes new old stamp very powerful are the analytics features you have. Okay, so you could view um, clicks and impressions of your email signatures, also the location of the clicks, and also the platform and devices that the clicks uh, came from, and also what days are most popular. So I really love the analytics inside this tool. You can also set up banner campaigns as well. And if you have four codes or more, you can set up your um, integrations here. In Privy is a tool that allows you to easily and securely share sensitive information. It's uh, $39 and it's only just one code uh, that you can buy. So this is great if you share sensitive information with people from your team and your clients, like any private files, uh, documents, passwords, things like that. This is a perfect tool that you could use to share that information. So you can organize everything into folders. I have one called Content Machine and the things you share are called uh, secrets. So if you click on a new secret, you'll need to give it an internal label. You can set up the open limit, like how many times they can open this um, quote unquote secret. You can set up an expiration date. You can receive a notification. And then this is where you set up the password that they need to apply to open up this file. And then you can drag and drop files right here. Now keep in mind that uploads are limited to 1000 megabytes, one gigabyte per file. Okay, so just keep that in mind. It's one gigabyte per file. Now for this secret, this uh, photo, um, if you were to share uh, the link, um, this is how it would look like, okay? So the following information can be viewed only once. Please treat them confidentially and store them in a secure location. So show secret information, and then they would need to put the password that I gave them and then click on show secret information. Go Email Tracker is a browser add-on that will track um, whoever opens up your emails, also people who click on links inside your emails. This tool will be able to um, show you those in uh, real time. And this is only uh, $19 for one email address. I actually created a full demo and review of Go Email Tracker, which I'll include in the description below. So this is an email that I sent um, earlier. Um, and by the way, this email signature is coming from um, New Old Stamp. So just as an FYI, so you know how it looks like. So on the right hand side is the Go Email Tracker panel where you could see when this email was opened and whether or not um, any links were clicked. You could see the time and also the device type that was used. And if you click on this bell icon, you could view all of your sent emails, emails that were opened, clicked, and also emails that were not opened. Now keep in mind, as of this recording, if you send emails to multiple recipients, you won't be able to see which recipient opened the email. You'll only be able to know whether or not the email was opened. I read on the AppSumo deal page that the founder was working on that feature to show you the exact recipient that opened up the email, but we are still waiting for that feature to get launched. 
Dark My Sites is a WordPress dark mode plugin, and this is only a $9 for the professional plan. You could use this for 10 sites, um, but if you want the agency plan, it's only $18 and you could use it for 100 sites. So this one is also great for freelancers and agency owners who manage other clients' websites, uh, web developers. You can add this dark mode feature on your client's websites, um, up to 100 clients for only $18. So another very affordable lifetime deal. So it's a WordPress plugin, so this is how the backend looks like. So this will essentially turn your website into, you know, dark mode, right? So you can enable time-based dark mode. So from a specific um, time, you want it to um, turn into dark mode. Now, if you want it more manual, you can show the dark mode floating switch in your website's front end. And I'll show you how that looks like in a moment. Now for that switch style icon, you could change how the icon looks like, also the positioning of that icon. And these are various color presets as well, okay? So in some cases, the dark mode version might not be legible in certain areas of your website. So you can basically manually change the color of all of the various elements on your website so you know it will look exactly how you want it to. And they do have presets here that you can select from as well. They also have the appearance control for the images on your website so you can toggle on the low brightness, for example, um, the video style, there's also advanced settings. You can restrict dark mode on certain pages and things like that, as you could see here. Okay, so the dark mode icon is on the bottom right-hand side. Okay, so if you click on it, it'll instantly turn it into dark mode and everything is still uh, legible. It's easy on the eyes. So it's perfect for my website readers who want more of this dark mode style to consume the information on my website. And of course you can change the specific colors as well like what I showed you. Now if you click on the button again, it'll turn back to the standard light mode. If you want to grab any of these affordable lifetime deals. I included links to them down in the description below.